Well, hello everybody, welcome back. It's finally time. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I cannot believe that it's finally here. It's just, it just feels like it's been an eternity. Um, and obviously, as you guys know, we've had I've released the trailer reaction and the OP reaction today. This is the third and final one, but it's the most important one, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, and what I did want to do is I wanted to wait for it to be released on Crunchyroll because I'm a good person, you know, I don't want to stream it illegally. However, Crunchyroll crashed at uh, 8.45 GMT, the moment it was released. So I've had to find it elsewhere <laughs> because I can't wait any longer. Even though it was available, you know, in another locations, I wanted to wait because I wanted to be legitimate, but it's gone. So I've just found it on another place. Anyway, enough of that. <sighs> Here we go. Are you ready? I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready. Uh, it's just going to be epic. I, I just don't know what to expect. I just, I just cannot wait. So I'm just going to get into it. So before we do, guys, just drop that like. Subscribe if you do want to follow me on this journey every Sunday. That would be amazing. And yeah, uh, let's go. Let's enjoy it. Man, can't believe it's been like six months all right rain is that a finger two fingers is this is levi hanji well hanji didn't lose any so she looks shocked look at her face man just the situation just being oh it's levi oh, fuck yeah is he dead surely he's dead i mean he was blown to pieces with a thunder spear so hmm Well, I mean, at least, at least that's good that it, it instantly killed him. At least he didn't suffer. Or oh, is Hanji protecting him, saying that he's dead so that she can protect him? What's going on here then? What is happening here? That's a gun. Yeah, aren't they supposed to just sort of like melt and disappear? Ah, oh, there he is. There's Zeke. There he is. Now she's gonna go, Zeke, Levi, next to each other. <gasps> Well, they have been looking for you. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm naked. Just butt naked. It just take all your time to look. Everyone's there just staring like it. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow, Levi is fucked up. And they have not. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. Hmm. Yeah, he did. They're all dead. Oh, so I love how no one's just like no one's offered him a cape or anything like that. Yeah. Oh, oh and this this I actually when I did the opening to this a few hours ago. I said it wasn't as good as I, as the first and the third one, but I just hearing that that first sound, rumbling, rumbling, it's gonna grow on me for sure. Seventy six conviction, or oh, the conviction to go through with things. Ah, okay, so we're back in the city now, where they've arrived to try and take him out. Here they are. 
that's the kind of thing, like, when you're in the military, I mean, obviously I've never served in the military, but that's what they always say. They're not doing it for their country, they're doing it for the people they fight with. There we go, right now. I don't know who to root for. I really don't. Because you can understand what he's trying to do, even if he's going about it the wrong way. That's a lot of paratroopers. Who's going to fight off these paratroopers? Because obviously, you know, Eren and that want to fight against them. They want to kill everybody. But they're invading their homeland. So surely they'll want to respond. So... I like that. That's that's pretty pretty good. Yeah, come on, shed some blood. And she really rips off her hand. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's going to listen to you. And to think back all that time, like the first few episodes when we saw the Titans in this area roaming, destroying, killing. Oh, is that Reiner? Come on. Oh, we're going to get the fight in the first episode. Oh, that is epic. <laughs> oh. Because he's just got this thing with Reiner. <laughs> it's been going on. For the entire thing. Oh, first episode back in there fighting it out. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, or not. What's happening here? Oh, man. Just, it's... Oh, send shivers down your bones, man. I mean, they've got all these soldiers here, so how are they going to fight these guys off? Because, you know, they're obviously outnumbered. It's so weird that she can talk. It's, it's, it, I just think it's, I just think it's crazy that we've come full circle and we actually want the Malians to win this. But I don't think we want the Malians to win it because, well, they, I don't think they're doing it for the good of mankind, they're doing it for the good of themselves. Man, this is a really good battle. Rhino is getting the shit pounded out of him. Damn. Oh, wow. Can't take my eyes off it. Oh. Oh dear. That's not good. <laughs> Thought you were a sneaky little git. No. There's a, there's got there's something more at play here. And they got something. There it is. Whatever that was. Oh, is that the Warhammer Titan? Yeah. Damn. And here come the scouts. Who are they gonna fire? I mean, oh, the I'm so confused. Oh shit, damn. So are these following Aaron? Yeah, because the other ones are trapped underneath, isn't they? The ones that wouldn't follow the doctrine. I mean, that's a pretty accurate shot. <laughs> oh, I can't read that. That sucks. It's probably just telling us about that amazing weapon that she just fired the.
Damn. Jesus Christ, man, they're slaughtering them. He can still defend himself, huh? Oh, yeah. Holy shit. I mean, the thing is, right, can't, can't Eren sort of immediately convert himself into another Titan as, so as soon as he exits? Why don't he just exit and just do it again? Thing is, ammunition runs out, swords and spears don't. You gonna try Oh bloody hell man Yeah uh, nah <laughs> he didn't You gonna let him out? Is he gonna let the soldiers out to fight against the Malians? Damn. Not seeing this side of Annie. Oh, they're gonna use Annie to. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I've never seen Connie like this. Man, that, that does seem believable. Uh, they were just manipulated, unfortunately. I mean, you, you are asking a lot there, mate. Uh, you know, you did betray everybody. Oh, okay. Wow. Armin, as always, the logical comes to the right conclusions. It's a really tough choice. You've got to go with the plan or fight Marley. When Marley wins, Oof. this is the question we've all been waiting for. This is what we've all been waiting. Come on, Mikasa. What are you gonna say? Come on, come on. But it's after everything that he's done, you still want to help him, poor girl. I can't, I mean, I, sh I shouldn't be surprised. Really? Why would you say that? So, <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Okay, <laughs> let me just. I, I, I don't really. I don't think I can get my head around this, right? So, I mean, it's 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 not even really occurred to me either. So, I I mean I. I let me know, so guys, if you you don't mind me pausing because I know this is, this seems really important, but I'm just I'm struggling to wrap my head around this right now. Armin is suggesting that Eren doesn't actually want to go ahead with the plan. He's just doing it because he he was afraid of what Yelena would do to him if he said no. Right. Okay. Understandable. However, all of the actions that have taken place. Would suggest otherwise, you know, him going to Mali, him communicating with Zeke, the whole plan, him going there and killing the leaders, you know, everything that he's done, betraying Mikasa, betraying Armin, everything he's done 
or just suggest that he's doing it of his own free will. And the fact that Armin now believes that he's not doing that, why else would he be doing it? I mean, is it like his long term? Was it like his long term goal to sort of just um, get them on his side so that he could dispose of them, so that he could root out all of the the bad soldiers, all of the evil within Paradise? Is that was that his plan all along? I, 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 I'm not buying it. But because I'm insane, it's probably true. But I'm just not buying it. So he's doing it so he can activate the rumbling, so he can finally wipe everyone out. That's not from our gun. I mean, that actually, actually, no, thinking about it now, that actually makes more sense. Hmm, forget what I just said. So they're going to go and help Eren then. And they're going to take out these ships somehow. Wow. Man, this is brutal. This is showing just war. Well, I say it's showing war. It's showing the, the Paradisian soldiers getting absolutely slaughtered. Is, he, is this the rumbling? Is this, is this the rumbling? So just, oh man, that was worth the wait. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to make no, I'm going to mess around here. That was worth the wait. Wow. What an incredible episode. Now, again, I'm going to ask you guys, just let me know if you think I should stop it at certain points. Because I had to stop it then because I had that that thought in my head and I just didn't want to miss anything because you know every, as we know every single word everything that is said in Attack on Titan is important all right so let's break it down so we started off with obviously meeting Levi and um you know Hanji says he's dead but this is a big but she wouldn't let anyone else check and she wouldn't let them shoot him so that leads me to believe that he might not actually be dead you know? uh, I mean, it could be because a lot of characters do die in Attack on Titan, but I don't know, there's, there's, there's a little thing in the back of my head that's saying I don't think he's dead. And the fact that she escaped down the river, it could just be because she knew what they would do to Levi. Even if he is dead, she knew what they would do to his corpse. But it's just, I don't know, it's just, uh, just there's that little nagging thing, or it's going to come back, they're going to come back, and he's not dead. Because uh, he is an Ackerman. Um, they do have powers. Um, and then obviously uh, Zeke comes out and he comes from that, oh, I can't remember what that place is called, the Plains and the, the energy where Emir is. And he was there to recover and then all of a sudden he's out. And alive. So that's given him an insight obviously, even more. And that could definitely be pivotal going forward. But I think the thing we've got to focus on the most is obviously the soldiers that are in, that were supporting Eren are absolutely getting absolutely annihilated by the Malians. Firepower just destroying them. And we saw the brutality of war. So, I mean, uh, you kind of get the feeling that... Oh, I can't remember his name. Uh, the, well, the writer, the author of this. God forgive me for not knowing his name. Um, he absolutely is against war, and you can see that with the brutality, like especially at the end where that guy strangling him, and then the other guy stabbing him. You know, uh, the brutality and the pointlessness of war. Um, and then, obviously, then <laughs> Armin just comes up with this idea, and he just throws a complete spanner in the words. Didn't even occur to me. Well, hang on. Eren might not be doing it. He might actually be taking advantage of everybody else, not the other way around. 
and then he's actually seen an opportunity here to start the rumbling to take care of everybody on Paradis and to not be attacked again not because he wants to um, stop them from reproducing to stop the death cycle so who do we believe and he did make a good point because at first you think well actually it doesn't make any sense because you know Aaron goes to Mali makes a deal with Zeke comes back gets everybody on his side but if we go into it deeper we can actually look at it and go well actually you've got he's now rooted all of the possible traitors out and all the ones that would go in favour of this he's going to get the rest of the titans onto the island so they could potentially take them as well and the one thing Aaron cares about the most is his home so thinking about it what Armin said there actually does make sense and it does make you go well shit <laughs> who do I believe and you know side note never seen Connie like that you normally you know he's the gentle the gentle kid but wow he really laid into him so I mean it's it's I don't, I don't know it's it's just setting itself so well and I really do hope there are 16 episodes because that means there's another 15 and that just that's great news but either way however many episodes left whatever's left it's going to be an amazing journey and I cannot wait and just a final note the roar at the end is obviously going to be Eren trying to activate the rumbling maybe or could it be something else is that to let Zeke know where he is Is it a way of distraction to sort of escape? I don't know. It's obviously significant. I did think, you know, it was to activate the Rumbling, but they do need the royal blood for that, and that's why they need Zeke. So, yeah, it doesn't, that doesn't quite make sense. But either way, this is going to be a hell of a roller coaster of a ride, and I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I really do hope you guys come along on this ride with me and, and spend the next, what, whatever, 8, 12, 15 weeks watching the rest of these, because, my God... I'm so excited. It's brilliant. Cannot wait for the rest. So if you do want to do that with me, just drop that like, hit that subscribe. It would be very much appreciated, guys. Uh, so thank you very, very much for watching this. Um, I loved every second of it, and I hope you did too. And I'll see you again with the next Attack on Titan next week. Obviously, we'll have the videos released before. <laughs> so thank you very much, guys. And goodbye.